Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at SC13 in the Emerging Technologies booth. And I'm here with Thomas. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Great, great, great. Well, I wanted to ask you about the Parallella board and what you guys are doing with that at uh, Rex Computing. Yeah, so um, we've got some of the first Parallella boards off the uh, assembly line. And uh, so we're trying to take this, you know, very low power uh, ARM plus uh, coprocessor called Epiphany and use it to different, you know, high-end server and high-performance computing tasks. Okay, so so this was a Kickstarter project, wasn't it? Yes. So uh, a company called Adaptiva in Lexington, Mass. Uh, I'm originally from Boston, um, and uh, they had a Kickstarter about a year ago, raised almost nine hundred thousand dollars to uh, come out with a, you know, miniature credit card supercomputer, as they called it, um, and. So what would you attribute all that interest to that people would, that's a lot of money, a lot of people must want this thing. Yeah, um, so originally a lot of people backed it initially were, you know, HPC and other, you know, technical geeks like us. But uh, later on in the campaign, people were thinking of it more from the Raspberry Pi and some of the, you know, lower end tasks. The, the great thing about this is it's $99. Um, it's not shipping quite yet to all the Kickstarter backers. But uh, the whole idea behind this, this is a $99 board with a dual-core ARM Cortex-A9 processor, which is n newer, ha faster, and have, has more cores than the Raspberry Pi, is you know, about, about three times the cost, but can do vastly more work. And even better is it has this new coprocessor, which is specifically meant to do you know, high-performance computing-like tasks. Okay, okay so h how would you interconnect if you were going to build a cluster of these? What, so, sort of you could just connect the gigabit Ethernet together, but the really nice thing, um, which we don't have prototyped yet, but is that there's two of these um, with what's called an E-Link, and that allows you to connect more of either the boards or just these Epiphany coprocessors together to get, like be able to get more channel kind of thing. Or um, so it's a proprietary thing by your Adaptiva okay. called E-Link. It's actually proprietary isn't quite the right word because it's all open source. You can get okay. actually the uh, Verilog for it online. They've published all of the source for that and it's quite open. And so you're, you're looking at potential applications in HPC, like uh, uh, low energy clusters? Yeah, so um, Rex Computing, my company, is uh, taking this Epiphany coprocessor and uh, future iterations of it and putting them together with um, single ARM. And so instead of just design where you have one ARM processor and then one Epiphany chip, have many Epiphany chips with a bit beefier ARM processor and then make systems that can power the uh, next generation of supercomputers. Okay, yeah, so, so when does this become 64-bit? Um, so that's the, so this is Epiphany 3. The Epiphany 4 has also uh, been produced and that's 64 cores but still 32-bit. And then next generation Epiphany 5 would be that generation.